Hey everybody, it's 8-Bit to the Future, and we got some really, really, really big news today. Nintendo is having a Direct, finally. That's right, I was expecting to put some more of my Nidhogg 2 tournament that I had on Saturday up, but that's going to have to wait a couple days, because earlier today, Nintendo tweeted that they will be having a Nintendo Direct tomorrow, Thursday, March the 8th. It's going to be 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Man, I'm hyped. The only other thing they said, it will be for Switch and 3DS titles. And we will hear more about Mario Tennis Aces. That's confirmed. Everything else, you've probably seen videos online, people making their predictions. Well, I'm going to give you my predictions, what I think is going to happen. I'm going to give you some firm predictions with specific dates. Hey, I want you to be the first, uh, I want you to say, hey, 8-Bit to the Future was the first to say this or to predict that. Hopefully that's the case. So let's go through with some predictions I have. And some of these are pretty standard and most people are predicting it already. But in terms of Mario Tennis Aces, since we know that's the only game we know for sure is going to be at the Direct, I think it's going to get a date for a release. And I'm saying April 27th. That will be a week after Labo. It's a Friday because they like to be uh, they like releasing games on Fridays now. I'm pretty sure it's going to be that that Friday or early May. But I'm going to just choose a date. April 27th is going to come out. We're going to hear some new characters will be released. Maybe some extended Mario characters, kind of like Mario Kart. Maybe you'll see like even Link. But I think you're going to see people like Rosalina, um, DK, the standard stuff that hasn't been. Well, DK was shown, but some Nintendo characters, more likely from, most likely from um, the Mario franchise, be announced that probably haven't been announced. I can't think of any at the top of my head, but we're going to see those. We're going to see more about the single player game and probably about online or multiplayer details. Since they're saying it's going to be a part of the direct already, it's probably going to be a big chunk. I'm going to say about five minutes. Everything else probably will be shorter because we're looking at about half an hour for this full direct. Next prediction is Fire Emblem Switch will get some sort of gameplay video and probably be given a title, um, but I don't think it's going to be given a date yet. It's still going to say 2018, at least that's my prediction, um, but we will finally get to see what this game is. There is someone online called Vandal Leaks that people are giving credit as being the first to predict this direct happening tomorrow. And he had a specific name, like he has more predictions. Um, he had a specific name for the Fire Emblem Switch game, which was extremely weird. So um, check out his predictions or her predictions. Not sure if it's a guy or a girl, but um, some of the stuff I got from Vandal Leaks, but put my own twist on it, what I think is actually true and not true. And I think the Fire Emblem thing is true. Just don't know about the name. But the name is so weird. I forgot what it was. And I should have looked it up before the video. But the name is so strange that it would be weird for someone to just pick that. Um, but anyways, Fire Emblem Switch. We're going to see it. Quick mention of Kirby Star Allies for sure since it's coming out March 16th. Maybe mentioning that the demo's on or some sort of mode that we haven't heard about already. But they won't spend too much time there. Yoshi, the unnamed Yoshi game, should get a name and maybe some more gameplay, though I don't think they're going to feature it too much since it is very similar to Kirby Star Allies, which is coming out, like I said, in about a week. But I think we will get a full name like Yoshi's Arts and Crafts, or that won't be the name, but it will get a full uh, name and it will get dated, my guess. I know I'm being very specific and this is going to probably be way off, but I'm saying August 3rd which is also a Friday, um, because I'm thinking this is a July or August game, so I'm going to go with early August with August 3rd. Another one which might not happen, but I think there's a good chance, is Trevor Strikes Back gameplay. That's right, this is the No More Heroes game that was announced all the way back in that kind of direct that Nintendo had, or that live event they had when they announced the Switch back in January of 2017. We were told it's for 2018, but we haven't seen anything since. I think we have to see some gameplay. It has to be more than just a game, uh, like a cinematic trailer. But I think we're going to get that. And we're going to get still just the 2018 date. I don't think we'll get a specific date because there's a good chance this thing gets pushed back. 
In terms of Diablo 3, there's been lots of rumors that Diablo 3 um, is coming to the Switch, pretty much confirmed by Blizzard. I don't think we're going to hear about this at this event, just because these rumors just came up now, and I think it's too soon. I don't think it's coming up. But you never know. It w I wouldn't be surprised if it does, but I just don't feel like it will. Another prediction is the DK character in Mario plus Rabbids, that DLC. We heard something at the Mini Direct back in January, but we haven't heard anything since. I think we're finally going to get a release date, and it's going to come at the end of the month. March 29th is my pick, and we're going to see a little bit of gameplay of how his level will work and how DK will work in that game. Now, this one I wasn't thinking was going to happen, but because Vandal Leaks brought it out and we just saw the Balloon World update for Super Mario Odyssey, I think we're actually going to see paid DLC for Odyssey. And this one I'm super excited for because it's probably going to be new kingdoms and costumes. Vandal Leaks talks about a Luigi's Mansion kingdom. If that was true, oh my god, I'm going to freak out. This is almost better than a new game announcement. Um... I'm pretty sure it's going to be paid. There's no way they're going to offer this for free. It'll probably be a season pass, and then they'll split up the two if you want to buy them separately. But I'm I'm pretty certain they're going to announce that at, at this Direct. It's a good time. The game's been out now for since, what, the end of October? So it's been out for like four months. I think it's a good time to announce DLC, actual paid DLC. Um, I also think we're going to see some third-party support. I just don't know what exactly we might hear about uh, more about the Wolfenstein 2 port, possibly Grand Theft Auto from Rockstar, though I feel like that's really big news and won't happen. But some sort of third-party support maybe we don't know about confirmed already that they announced in this. I do think we'll see some sort of indie title or indie titles, though N Nintendo likes to do those Nindy events where they highlight um, indie games by themselves. But... I'm sure we're going to hear something, maybe something we already know about, just highlighted. Also, I think we're going to hear either some small update information or quality of life for Splatoon 2, ARMS, Pokken, and or Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now, I'm not saying brand new DLC or anything like that, especially for like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but maybe some sort of little mode or changes to it. Pokken, again, there's rumors that it's going to get another character after Blastoise. So there was Agislash and Blastoise, and maybe we'll get a third. Um, but other than that, just a small mention. Maybe they won't even mention anything at all, but just to keep people playing those games and to show that they still have support of it, we, I think we can see it. We're probably going to hear another Wii U port, and my guess is either Toad's Treasure Tracker or Tokyo Mirage Sessions. I know those games are on opposite spectrum, um, on the op opposite ends of the spectrum, but... I think those are the two most likely. I don't think we're going to see a, a Super Mario Maker yet or a new Super Mario Bros. I hope they don't port su new Super Mario Bros. I'm so sick of that series. Good games, but just the art style and everything, I'm just sick of them. And I don't think we're going to see um, Super Mario 3D World. I don't think there's a point to porting those games. Toad's Treasure Tracker, I think, would work perfectly in handheld mode. It's just made for it, especially turning like the diorama-style um, levels around in there. And Tokyo Mirage Sessions is just a very expensive Wii U game that I think would find a great market on the Switch. There's so many other games that can be ported on there, but those are one of those two I think are going to be announced, if not more Wii U ports, but I'm hoping they slow down on that. This is also a 3DS event, like I said, and I haven't spoken anything 3DS. I think we'll get more information on Detective Pikachu since it is coming out, I believe, at the end of the month. Um, maybe some sort of mode or some sort of bonus, something to do with the Amiibo that's being released. And I think we will hear about a new 3DS game. I don't think it's going to be anything groundbreaking. It won't be a huge franchise. Doubt it's going to be a new IP, but it will be something maybe in uh, a B franchise for Nintendo. Maybe some sort of Donkey Kong swing game or something like that. Some sort of new 3DS game just to show that they still have support for it. But I pretty much think that system is dead by the end of the year we'll see at e3 now those are my predictions but i just want to end with this there are rumors of course about big game announcements or games that we kind of know are being made but haven't heard officially right now i'm going to go through the list and i want to tell you the ones i think will be announced and won't be announced to be honest i think only one of these are going to be announced pikmin 4 
I hope, of course, all of these I hope get announced at this direct, but lots of them will be announced at E3. Pikmin 4, I don't see being announced at this direct, hopefully at E3, but I don't even know about that. Animal Crossing, there's lots of rumors this is going to be announced tomorrow. I highly doubt it. That's an E3 announcement. Pokemon Switch, extremely, like this one, I doubt, I, I'm i probably the most doubtful for Pikmin Switch because they like to do their own directs for, sorry, oh, I said Pikmin, They uh, Pokemon Switch, they like to do their own directs for Pokemon, so we'll either get that at E3 or direct right before after E3, which is Pokemon related uh, solely. Metroid 4, again, I think that's going to be E3. Bayonetta 3, I think it's too early on the heels of the Bay uh, Bayonetta 1 and 2 collection that just came out. But the one I think, and I know lots of people aren't going to think it's going to happen, and that it probably should be at E3, but then everything should be at E3. I really think that Smash Bros. is going to get officially announced tomorrow. Now, I don't know if this is going to be a port with just some added characters and levels, or if it's going to be a brand new Smash, but I think... They're going to end the direct with maybe a 30 second, maybe up to a minute trailer that reveals Smash Bros. for Switch. Don't know if it's going to be called that or have some sort of subtitle like Smash Bros. Extreme or that would be a really bad title. But I think we're going to see that and probably see a character or two fighting with Mario that we haven't seen before like an ARMS character or someone from Splatoon. That would be awesome. But I really, ah man, I just have a gut feeling I don't want to get myself too excited for it, but that's my big prediction, brand new game for the Switch that will be announced. Now, my hype level, I don't want to go too hyped again. I've been disappointed by Nintendo Directs before, but it's been so long. The Mini was over, not over, I think it was about two months ago now, but that was just a Mini Direct. So now we're getting a full Direct. My hype level's at about 8, 8.5 out of 10. I mean... Even if they announce a few of these things, especially that Odyssey DLC and Smash. Oh man, if they announce Smash, best direct ever. Well, let me know what you think of my predictions. And I want to know about your predictions down below. And please like the video and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, game on and make sure to be watching tomorrow for the Nintendo Direct.